Good morning, everyone. I hope uh, your test was easy and you did good. Now, we are going to begin with the next chapter. And this chapter is motion in a plane. Okay. Now, in this chapter, uh, most of the things that we have studied as far as physics is concerned, most of the things are same, like the previous chapter. But what is different, what is different is that here, when we start talking about planes or when we start talking about two dimensions, right, understanding vectors becomes very important, right? understanding the vectors becomes very important. So a lot of lot of part of this chapter is dedicated to vectors and vectors only, right? Okay. And then, well, we have physics as usual, once we understand uh, these things like vectors and all that, okay, we can get on with, uh, you know, talking about displacements and velocities and speed and this, that, everything, okay. So, let's start. Okay. So, the first concept that we need to understand in this chapter is what is meaning of two dimensions, right? Speaking roughly, two dimensions means two directions, right? Speaking roughly, without trying to use a lot of maths, two dimensions means two directions, okay? Plane is two dimensional. I hope you understand what I'm saying, right? You can, you can always think of it like this. You can always think of it like this. Suppose there is floor of a room, okay? Let's say this is floor of a room and this is top view, okay? You're, you're watching it from the sky, let's say. All right, this is what you would see. This is the floor. So on this floor, if a person would walk, right, or maybe a little insect would move everywhere, then I hope you realize that that thing could go left, right. Okay, and that could also go up and down in this drawing, right? Actually, it won't be up towards sky, right? So what I'm saying is that here motion is possible in two different directions, right? One is horizontal in this diagram. The second is vertical in this diagram, all right? So if you, you know, let's say this room of yours is aligned with east, west, north, south directions as follows, right? Then I'm sure you understand that it is possible that something might move on the east-west line or it might move on north-south line or actually anywhere as a combination of both. That is, it's possible that this person might go from here to there, right? So that is why this is motion in two dimensions or you can say it could actually be in two separate directions, all right? Now, 
mathematically what this means is that to represent anything here i repeat to represent or to talk about anything in such a case we will need at least two numbers i repeat we will need two numbers right only one will not So sorry, the connection just dropped and got back. All right, can everyone hear me? Can all of you hear me? Can you all hear me? Okay. All right. Fine. So let's continue. I'm sure you can see the screen also. Yeah. So I was saying, I was saying that to express things here, to express or to, you know, uh, to to give a complete picture of things here, you need two numbers, right? You need two numbers. So let's start with an example that will help you understand how we need two numbers. So first of all, we are going to start with position. Okay, everyone, please be alert. I hope the remaining 13 or 15 people have are not preparing for exam, right? Because they are going to dearly miss what I'm going to teach today. Okay, so let's take one very interesting case, right? I really, I really like to explain it like this. Suppose you are a spy. Okay, let's say you are a spy. All right. Okay. And you're watching someone, maybe a terrorist, okay, by using a helicopter, right? Let's say you have got a secret uh, kind of uh, technology, right? So that you are flying in a helicopter and you're not going to be visible, right? And you are spying on a terrorist. So let's say that this here is origin O, right? Where X is cross. So let's say this is the house of the terrorist, maybe in some forest or somewhere. All right, we don't know where, right? That's not really important. So let's say the terrorist comes out of the house and goes here and there, right? And finally stands at this place. Okay. Now, if you would like to describe this, let's say you are spying, so you have to, so you have to tell your, you have to report the position, right? Suppose, suppose you want to report the position to your superiors, okay? Like you might have seen in some movies, right? Okay, so then do you realize that one easy way to do it is to talk about coordinates, right? Let's say you could call this east direction. This is west, let's say north and south. Okay, so then you could say that, then you could say that this person is in coordinate forms. Okay, let's say 30 meter. Okay, towards east. So this is 30 meter. I hope that makes sense, right? And like you used to do it in 10 standard, this is going to be the y coordinate, right? So let's call that towards the north. So suppose 50 meter towards the north. Okay. So then you will report the position as 30 meter east, 30 meter east and 50 meter north of the house. Correct. See, this is reference or origin. I hope you all remember what I taught you in the previous chapter that whenever you want to talk about position, you definitely must write about reference. So look at look at this whole thing. To give the complete position, to give exact detail of the position, you need two numbers, which two? Well, you need 30 meter, right? Without, without this 30 meter, it's incomplete, right? And you also need this 50 meter. So you need two numbers, okay? 
right no i'm not talking about magnitude and direction right now vedant we will eventually get to magnitude and direction right okay i'm i'm talking about a you know basic thing how position can be explained or expressed using coordinates right i i hope that is clear to everyone right okay but yes the point that i told you still stands true to describe this you need two numbers if you say only one number let's say you just say this let's say let's say you just say this right only 50 meter that could mean that uh, that could mean the terrorist is anywhere on this line i hope that makes sense right so that's not an exact position so you definitely need to put one more number right i hope you understood that so together these two give us exact position 30 meter east and 50 meter north of a house all right here okay so what this is telling you is that everything when we are talking about a plane like we are assuming listen we are we are assuming that this terrorist okay always moves on the land but suppose instead of terrorist let's say let's say you are not a spy right somehow you are let's say a bird watcher okay you know there are people who love to see and study birds right i am one of those right so let's say you are a bird watcher now in this case only two numbers might not be enough because birds can fly right so let's say instead of house we can replace it by maybe the nest or something right okay and then you could then you could say that okay the bird is flying high in the sky so maybe it's a uh, 10 meter above the ground right i hope you understand what i said right so if you are if you are talking about plane plane is two dimensional 2d that is only x and y are required two numbers 2d earlier we have talked about line motion in a line 1d only one number is required either x or y i hope you remember that only one number yes or no and then if it's space space is 3d right space is 3d so here you need three numbers x y and z three coordinates right i hope that's clear to all of you are ek seedhi rite vicharo suppose this is a room okay and you take origin somewhere let's say from this corner and if i ask you where is a particular fly in the room okay then do you realize you need to tell me three things you need to tell me how much is it on the right side i hope i hope you get what i'm saying let's say fly is here and you have to tell me how much it is on the right side how much it is inside like this and how much it, is it above the ground right so you need to tell me three numbers basically we are talking about length breadth and height three three dimensions correct so that's why this is called 3d and it, you cannot express it properly without using three numbers right okay so now i hope you remember that we studied this in chapter 3 now this and this we are going to study in chapter 4 okay right so coming back to this right now right now let's keep it simple let's worry about only let's worry about only two that is plane let's say this is actually a terrorist all right let's say that this person is actually a terrorist all right okay when from here to there right so that's the position now i want all of you to understand i want all of you to understand that just like in 1d that is in a straight line right let's say this is 10 this is 20 meter 30 meter and so on okay jo i'm a third chapter no ketlu badu aave j rakhse aave j rakhse aave j rakhse please so make sure you remember the concepts so so akho chapter em ne maavadva mundhe so let's say that in 1d okay suppose we talk about 1d suppose the person was standing here then we'd say the position is plus 10 agreed 
right? But if that person, if that person would go and let's say stand over here, then, then we'd say position is minus 20, right? Okay, so you see, position is a vector, I repeat. I would have mentioned it, I'm sure, position is a vector, right? Position is a vector because this plus sign is indicating towards the right side from here and this minus sign is indicating towards the left side from here. I, I hope that makes sense to all of you, right? Huh? I, I don't think people are active today. Are you all there? Are you listening? Okay. Right. My name is phone Chalu Rakhi in a side ma Bija subject ni book lane and I watch your mind on Okay, fine. Let's continue. So position is a vector. Again, vector is anything that must have a magnitude and it should also have a direction. Right? Okay. Vector is anything that should have a magnitude and a direction. So this is position, it has a magnitude and direction both. Now here, when, when we come to 2D, then the characteristics of direction will become absolutely clear. Let's take an example. So now Vedan, we are coming to what you were saying, right? About direction. So let's say once again that this is east. Sahil, I've already answered your question. You asked, what is a vector? I said vector is anything that has position, uh, sorry, that has magnitude and direction both, simple. So, let's say that, uh, you know, as usual, this is where the house is, right? And we are spying once again, okay. And the person stands over there, right? Somewhere in the forest, okay. Hiding from everyone. So this would be, let's take easy case. Suppose this would be 10 meter, right? And this would also be 10 meter. So do you realize that the position of uh, this uh, person from the house is 10 meter comma 10 meter because it's like X coordinate, this is X and this is Y. I don't think anyone has problem with that. Okay, no problem Sahil. Right? So let's say 10, 10. Now, in this case, okay, this is one way to write it. Let's talk about another way. Let's talk about another way. Do you understand that the distance from this house to this person by Pythagoras theorem is 10 root 2 meter? Correct? Agreed? Okay, so then you could, you could report it, you could report the position to your seniors and, and say, and say, Charlie reporting, sir, the terrorist is at distance, I repeat, terrorist is at distance, 10 root 2 meter from house, right? In which direction? Exactly northeast. Okay. Right. So I, I hope, I hope you understood what I've written here. Now this Northeast is actually a lucky coincidence because I've taken this as 10 and this is 10. So this is a right angle isosceles triangle. So this angle is 45 degrees. Agreed. So it's exactly between North and East. So a proper way to write it would be as follows. 45 degree north of east. Right? 
राइट कुणाल पायथागोरस थ्योरम वेदन आर यू गोइंग टू डू माय प्रमोशन वंडरफुल ओके सो so this is this is the other way so if you realize carefully what we have done here if you look at this this is magnitude i hope that makes sense it's a number it's a magnitude correct and this is telling you direction agreed or not right so that is why i was saying that position is a vector see right if instead of this if instead of this we would have given only this information right let's say you don't pass this information to your commanding station right so then that means this terrace could be here also or here also or here also or here also or here also agreed right 10 root 2 in any direction so you see it opens up lots of possibilities because this is not complete On, only saying this is incomplete right so you need the other number you definitely need more information and that more information is the angle or the direction i hope that makes sense right that other information is this 45 degree north of east right so this is the this is the thing about vectors right this is the thing about vectors now so that's a basic idea so please the key thing to remember here is that position is a vector right position is a vector okay right now so if it's a vector we should have its symbol also right if you remember in the previous chapter for position we used to just write x or y correct for horizontal cases we used to take x and for vertical we used to take y but now now that's not enough because as you can as you can clearly see as you can clearly see one way to talk about position is this also correct so now there's both x coordinate and y coordinate right so it's it's unwise to choose x or y so we have to change our symbol remember meaning of position will still not change but we have to change our symbol right again position indicates where an object is situated or located where an object is located right that is called position fine but now now we are going to talk about it in vector form so the symbol is symbol of position vector symbol of position which is a vector of course is this r and a vector sign see th this this thing here indicates it's a vector so arrow this is like an arrow head right so that arrow head indicates that this thing is a vector so it's a position vector you can just say position all right everyone will understand those who understand physics will understand that position must be a vector it cannot be a scalar it must have a direction right so this is the symbol again again what does this arrow head indicate it indicates that this is vector i know uniform che vector team wala hoy ne ya wo uniform pe topi pe din rakhwani is that clear if you just write this and say this is position then your position from this class will be removed okay i repeat this is not position this is wrong okay if you say this is position you will lose your position from the class right must have that cap or hat 
you don't have to type you just you, you just write r vector okay no problem fine you don't have to give a typing exam of course so why worry about that in the textbook listen to this carefully in the textbook for vectors they write bold so i i i i think all of you understand what bold is correct so right so wherever you see bold in your textbook that means it's a vector okay but i cannot write or write in bold of course i hope you realize if i suppose want to write r in bold then i'll have to do it this way right i'm not going to do all that nonsense right so arrowhead is a very good way to indicate in exam you have to write like this only okay in exam you have to write this exam ma bold karwa jaso to kyare puru thase right okay fine so that's the symbol of position which is a vector that's why it's wearing this hat or arrow right e n o uniform the yaad rakhon now this is this is not the only case of a vector there there's actually much more right so before we get on to all that it is important to understand how to draw a vector right how or how to represent or draw a vector so let's talk about that okay we've got a white page all right representing a vector right how do we how do we represent a vector well a vector is represented by drawing an arrow i repeat it is represented by drawing an arrow okay you just draw an arrow maybe like this okay so this is a vector right okay and in which direction in this particular direction maybe at angle 30 degree with x axis like that okay so that's how you indicate a vector so suppose let's call this a vector right suppose this is a vector right so you can say that a vector is at 30 degree with x axis maybe something like that right okay so i i hope that's clear yes we will vedant okay now that's good as far as direction is concerned right the angle is indicating direction very good but what about magnitude because every vector must have a magnitude so the idea is as follows listen to this carefully when we are drawing an arrow to represent a vector when we draw an arrow to represent a vector the length of the arrow indicates magnitude the length of the arrow indicates magnitude okay see this is true for any vector let me tell you that this is true for any kind of vector okay whenever we are drawing or representing vectors at that time when you draw an arrow and you draw the length right whatever length of that arrow is it indicates magnitude of the vector so these are uh, you know important things to remember right again length of the arrow indicates magnitude and angle indicates direction right i don't think the second one is a problem right okay so that's what we have now based on this based on this we'll have to learn how to draw position vector angle will be given in question 
ઇટ ડિપેન્ડ ઓન ધ સિચ્યુએશન આવો ક્વેશ્ચન ન આવે આ તો બહુ બહુ જ સિમ્પલ છે હજી તો ઘણું શીખવાનું છે બરોબર ને ઓકે સો લેટ્સ ગો ટુ ધેટ નેક્સ્ટ લેટ્સ ગો ટુ ધ નેક્સ્ટ ઇટ ઇઝ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ ડ્રો પોઝિશન વેક્ટર સો વોટ ઇઝ અ પોઝિશન વેક્ટર રાઈટ હાઉ ડુ વી એક્ઝેક્ટલી ડ્રો અ પોઝિશન વેક્ટર i hope everyone is writing things okay let's say like we we talk about the same right the terrorist okay and we are spying maybe something like that okay that would make it easy for you to understand right so in such a case suppose the terrorist stands over there and here as usual we take his house or his or her house as origin right and then we draw an arrow now how to draw the position vector that's what i'm teaching you right position vector is drawn from the origin or the reference point wherever that reference point is okay position vector is drawn from the origin or the reference point to that to the point where object is to the point where object is okay so here in this situation i would have to draw an arrow like this clear okay i'm erasing the terrorist wiping the terrorist from the face of earth right but i i hope you understood that this arrow that i've drawn here is the position vector again a position vector is always drawn from the origin or the reference point to the point where the object is okay <laughs> please do that practically yes i remember i used before a few years i used to say it like it's like a harpoon you know what is a harpoon how many of you know what is a harpoon no okay someone said yes very good a uh, a harpoon is is like an arrow a harpoon is is like an arrow but with a rope attached and it is fired typically to uh, hit large uh, aquatic animals like whales or sharks right have you seen such things right it is not typically used in fishing as such right okay fine uh, what is harpoon is not really the point here but i hope you understand this is like a harpoon isn't it an arrow is shot all the way from here to there right and there is a rope attached correct so so now let's talk about this vector right so this vector is called position vector r vector why r because that's the symbol for position right r vector okay so then you can say that this position vector is from origin to that point p let's say where that terrorist was standing all right okay i understood that fella but then i didn't want to comment because then we would get distracted from physics all right so this is our vector right that's how you draw a position vector everyone that's how you draw a position vector now do you see do you see that this length from here to here that is nothing but the magnitude agreed 
right i hope you understand that this length is indicating the magnitude for example if we take the case if we take the case that we are talking about 10 meter comma 10 meter then this length this length is 10 root 2 meter correct I, I hope you understood that the length of this arrow will be 10 root 2 meter, right? So that is what is meaning of magnitude, right? Magnitude is indicated again. Magnitude is indicated by the length of arrow. Okay. Magnitude is indicated by the length of the arrow and direction, of course, by an angle. So maybe 45 degree of here, right? Like that. Okay, so that's how you draw position vector. Now, the moment you draw position vector, right, the next thing that we should be talking about is displacement vector, isn't it? Right? Because if this position, and then we can all always think that this terrorist might move, right? Okay, so we, we have to talk about displacement vector now. Okay. Is displacement a vector? Of course, yes, right? I told you that during the third chapter also, right? Displacement is definitely a vector, right? So over here, see, earlier, earlier in chapter three, X was position and delta x was displacement, agreed? But now symbols have changed, right? The symbols are no longer same. They're different, right? R vector is position. So displacement vector symbol is delta R vector, okay? I hope that is absolutely clear and symbol doesn't confuse anyone, right? Delta R vector, okay? Now you might, you might ask, can we write arrowhead like this? Or can we write it like this? Uh, generally, people write it all the way through. Okay, it's fine, really. Don't don't worry too much about that. Nobody's going to you know bug you for drawing it in that way. But like I said, I've seen that books typically draw it like this, right? The other one is also not wrong. Okay, so this is displacement vector. Now, no prizes for guessing this formula. Right? I, I don't think I, I have to say even a word of explanation here. Right? I'm, I'm absolutely confident that you would have understood. Alele. Ajito vectors mand mand our to two on a vector no subtraction a crowd also. Ajito number no subtraction may have a mistake curious a on a way to my vector no subtraction crowd also. Life is tough, isn't it? Okay, so how do we subtract vectors? That's a big question, right? That's a very big question. How do we subtract ve vectors? But first question that we should ask is, can we even add vectors, right? Addition and subtraction typically go hand in hand, right? So if you can add vectors only, then you can subtract vectors, right? So that's what we're going to learn. So you can say, you can say bye-bye displacement, right? We'll come back to you after some time, okay? Right? First, we are off to learn how to add and subtract vectors. I hope everyone realizes what's the need. Do you agree that there is a need to understand these two now? Because displacement is actually a vector, right? So if you want to understand 
what displacement is first we need to understand what's this uh, what's subtraction right okay so let's get on with that okay uh fine let me let me do it in the boring way right so first of all triangle law of addition of vector so we are going to learn a rule right you have to follow this rule if you want to add vectors okay and please everyone this this rule this law gives you no liberty whatever is written in the law you have to follow it exactly only then you will be able to add vectors otherwise you might get some other thing right and end up with a nonsensical answer right so follow this exactly okay so before we before i actually write down the law the steps and everything right let me build your intuition let me you know build your understanding about how this is going to work okay okay here is the terrorist house all right okay and let's say the terrorist first was at the house okay then walks walks let's say 30 meter towards the east side okay so from here walk still here okay see until this point this is just motion in a straight line i i, I hope you all realize that correct i i don't think anyone has any problem with that right yes or no right okay fine fine so the displacement is 30 meter let let me call this let me call this the first part okay first part of journey right so in the first part the displacement is 30 meter towards the east correct see you can use photo method also i hope all of you remember photo method Yes or no? Do you remember photo method? Terrorist was here, disappears and appears over here. Tada! Right? So how much did the terrorist get displaced by? Well, thirty meter and in the east direction. Very good. Fine. Now, now, in the second part, let's say terrorist finds that this position is risky or dangerous for. him or her right so then decides to walk then decides to walk another 30 meter in the north direction okay in this direction and then stands over there all right okay all right yeah whether what you see on the screen is what we have been doing right so first the terrace in the first part goes 30 meter towards east and in the second part i hope if you only look at suppose this is o origin this is a and this is b right so this is displacement from o to a and now this is displacement from a to b right so how much is the displacement from a to b can can you all tell me everybody how much is the displacement from a to b remember remember displacement is a vector remember displacement is a vector so it will have a magnitude it will also have a direction incomplete answers everyone yes very good rushab 
well done preet diya incomplete answer sankirn riya incomplete answers no kavya yes ankita well done well everybody everybody you identified 30 meter very good but see this is only magnitude i told you that displacement is a vector displacement is a vector so this will be 30 meter north do you agree with this how many of you understood this second one can you please say yes or no right north is also important no not clear nandini this this person moves towards north right in this direction agreed so that's northwards right if of course if east is here west is here north will be here and south will uh, west sorry south will be here right okay so now if i ask you what's the displacement if i ask you no first forget about displacement let's talk about path length everybody let's talk about path length okay what's the path length in moving from o to b can you tell me that everyone what's the path length what is the path length in moving from o to b o to b very good well done 60 meter well done people 60 meter koi ek bijay ka ek bijo answer aipo do please correct yourself 60 meter right 30 meter am janu and 30 meter upar right that is think about it practically if you if there is if there is a road like this let's say near your home and you walk like this 30 meter and then you walk like this 30 meter how much did you walk of course 60 meter calorie at least bareo okay so now that's 60 meter let's talk about displacement displacement from o to b displacement from o to b very good raj yes no sahil 30 meter is wrong krisha no way how can it be zero no nandini no pinak that's wrong okay most of you have identified it right the answer is 30 root 2 meter displacement is 30 root 2 meter but this is not enough see this is only magnitude right but displacement is a vector it should have a direction also so that direction is north east or you could say 45 degree north of east right so this is complete answer right what i am making a box around is the complete answer okay 30 root 2 is incomplete answer everyone because displacement is a vector so i hope you understood what i said every vector must have a magnitude it should also have a direction arvane okay now how did how did people know this well i i think many of you understood that by intuition only i didn't have to explain anything right you andar se hi awaaz aa rahi thi that this will be 30 root 2 correct but let's see the exact procedure let's see the exact procedure it is as follows okay you you did it with calculator you did it by pythagoras theorem okay no problem but what i'm asking is how did you know that you have to do it by pythagoras theorem that's what i'm asking right i did not teach you that did i teach you that did i tell you you will have to do it like this but 
you should understand that all of us all of us have some are right angle triangle che barabar to pachi tame aaj distance kem find no karu aa find karu tu ne ane displacement no kevai that's what i am asking see all of you i i hope everyone will be able to understand the difference between physics and calculations they are different you used pythagoras theorem because you that is a calculation part but what i'm what i'm trying to say is tumne samjhayvu kone ke displacement che ne e r avse what i'm asking you is how did you know that this is displacement right that's what i'm talking about ene physics kevai tumme karo jo pythagoras theorem that's calculation so that's not what is the main point here right fine let's continue let's continue with the method હા તો સાહિલ બધું યાદ રાખવું જોઈએ ને પેલાનું શીખવાડેલું તો બધું યાદ રાખો તો મારે કેટલું બધું ઓછું ભણવું પડે નો લિસન ટુ ધીસ વેરી કેરફુલી અ વેરી સિમ્પલ વે ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ધીસ ઇઝ ધ ફોટો મેથોડ અગેન રાઈટ This is initial, final. Remember, ne? Photo method. So now we can just say that effectively the displacement is represented by this arrow. Agreed? Yes or no? This is the total displacement. Clear? I, I hope that makes sense to all of you. ओके, राइट अगेन फोटो मेथड सेल्स यू जस्ट लुक एट इनिशियल ओके हियर यू लुक एट फाइनल ओके हियर एंड देन हाउ डिड द ऑब्जेक्ट मूव फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल दैट्स इट लाइक दिस राइट फोटो मेथड बिकॉज यू यू कांट नो वेर द ऑब्जेक्ट वेट अगेन डू यू रिमेम्बर दैट सेंटेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन पाथ डू यू रिमेम्बर दैट डिस्प्लेसमेंट डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन पाथ no i don't think you all remember do you it only depends on what it only depends on it only depends on position it only depends on what yes ami very good no dhruv yes jake is well done well done ryan khan નો જય નો રાહુલ નોટ એટ ઓલ ઇટ ઓનલી ડિપેન્ડ ઓન ઇનિશિયલ એન્ડ ફાઈનલ પોઝિશન અરે યાર ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ સેન્ટેન્સીસ કેમ યાદ નથી રાખતા હે everyone many gave right answer but some of you were confused and many have not answered so that's not what i like people savare uti ne brush karo ne e pehla aaj sudhi na badha physics na important points 5 minute ma vaanchi javana okay so this is the displacement vector now you can clearly see listen to this everyone we we have got this displacement vector we have got this displacement vector just by joining the initial and final position correct i hope you understood what i am saying we have got this displacement vector just by joining the initial position and the 
final position right and do you also remember that sentence magnitude of displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final point or position right you remember that sentence everyone magnitude of displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position so you chain have a look have a look this is the shortest distance isn't it shortest distance must be straight correct between these two points right so that distance is 10 root 2 meter that's the magnitude everyone jo that's the magnitude oh sorry 30 root 2 not 10 root 2 excuse me i thought we are still having 10 here 30 root 2 meter is the magnitude right and look at this vector this vector is in which direction 45 degree north of east clear is this absolutely clear everyone okay to test your concept to test your concept here is a quick fire question okay suppose a person walks 40 meter east from origin okay then walks 30 meter north and then walks 60 meter south okay what is the displacement what is the displacement of this person come on Hurry up, hurry up, quick fire question, one minute only. See, when I ask you displacement, it means you have to tell me both magnitude and direction. Kali magnitude ke jene, ibada no answer koto, okay, not valid. Only magnitude can never be the answer, I repeat, because displacement is a vector. Dar work the 30 root 2. No, I have not got a single correct answer yet. Hurry up, people, hurry up. Is everyone drawing diagram? Are you drawing? No. No. No, no, no correct answers yet. No correct answers yet. Okay, Yashvi, in the right direction. Very good. No forum. Magnitude cannot be negative. No, Ankita. Well, How do you know it is 40 degree, Neil? South, Arkan, are you sure it's in the south? Okay, well, here is the method. Okay, here is the origin, all right. So now, person walks 40 meter east. Okay, then 30 meter north, still here and then walks 60 meters south like this so i hope you realize 60 from here means 30 from here agreed so this is where the person is here right so final answer is as follows this is where the person starts. This is initial and this is final. So use photo method. Okay, use photo method. From here to here, agreed? Agreed, right? So this is clearly 50 meter in length, 
right? So magnitude is 50 meter. Okay. Magnitude is 50 meter. But what about direction? Well, this direction is not is not exactly southeast. Let me tell you that. Okay, this is not exactly southeast. Of course, this is east, this is north, this is west, and this is south. Right? This is not exactly southeast because southeast means 45 degree. This is not going to be 45 degree. I hope you realize that if you draw a triangle like this, so that this side is 40 and this side is 30, it's not going to be 45, right? This violates trigonometry equations. Okay. So, in fact, this angle is going to be 37, right? I'm not going to explain right now how it is 37. So, please don't worry about that. We'll talk about it tomorrow, right? The answer is 37 degree, 37 degree south of east. The answer will be 37 degrees south of east. Okay. It's not exactly southeast, right? It is not exactly southeast. Exactly southeast, 45 degree per hour, like this. Okay. That would be exact southeast. Okay. Right? How do I know this is 37 degree? I, I'll tell you that. Okay. Next step. Fine. Goodbye, everyone.